Haley Deegan's net worth and lifestyle Haley Deegan just became the only female driver in NASCAR to receive so much attention, and she also earned the 2022 Most Popular Award for the second season in a row. But there's more to Haley Deegan than meets the eye. So let's get into today's video on Racing Rush as we tell you about Deegan's professional career and net worth. But before we dive into it, make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss an update from us. Haley Deegan is an American professional stock car racing driver. She is the only female driver to have won championships in the Lucas Oil Off-Road Pro Series and the Regional Series in 2013, 2015, and 2016. Also, she was the only young driver to win the Lucas Oil Off-Road Pro Series Driver of the Year Award in 2016. Haley Deegan is the daughter of Brian Deegan. Brian is a professional motocross rider, off-road racer, former X Games athlete, and Metal Militia co-founder. Haley has competed in 116 races and has won three and six pole positions. Haley's net worth is estimated to be between one and five million dollars. Her primary source of income is her driving career, but she also sells personalized merchandise. Haley started riding dirt bikes when she was seven. Haley raced in the Junior One Karts division of the Lucas Oil Off-Road Racing Series, also known as Lores. She also became the first female driver to win a Lores Championship when she won the Junior Two Karts class in 2013. She is one of only four women to have ever won the Lores Class Championship. Haley started racing on asphalt in 2016 when she drove Legends cars for Rev Racing. Also in 2017, she ran her first asphalt late model races, the first at Tri-County Motor Speedway and the second at Hickory Motor Speedway, both on the Cars Super Late Model Tour. Haley joined NASCAR Drive for Diversity in 2016 and was named the NASCAR Diversity Young Racer the following year. In May of 2017, she was one of nine drivers chosen for the 2017 NASCAR Next Class. She was the youngest and the only woman in the group. She also was part of Toyota's program for developing drivers. Haley became a full-time driver for Bill McAnally Racing in the NASCAR K&N Pro Series West on January 3, 2018. Later, she said she would be running part-time for McAnally in the NASCAR K&N Pro Series East. In 2018, she was the only woman who drove full-time in the K&N Series. Haley opened the East Series race at New Smyrna Speedway on February 11th, her first race of the season. At Kern County Raceway Park on March 15th, she ran her first race in the West Series. She came in seventh. Kevin Harvick, who won the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series in 2014, fought with Haley for a position at the end of the race, and he came in fourth. Later, he said he was impressed by how she did. Haley was added to the NASCAR class of 2018-2019 on May 15th. She was once again the only woman and the youngest person in this class. She got her first top five finish on May 19th when she came in fourth at Orange Show Speedway. She finished seventh in the race, her sixth top ten finish in six West Series races. In the next race at Roseburg, Haley came in second. This was her best finish in the series and tied her with some NASCAR Next graduates like Kinsey Rustin, Julia Landauer, and Nicole Behar. It was also the best finish by a woman in the K&N Pro Series. She became the first woman to win the K&N Pro Series on September 29th when she won the Napa Auto Parts Idaho 208 at Meridian Speedway. Haley returned to BMR for the 2019 K&N West and E Series full and partial schedules. At New Smyrna, the qualifying for the East first race of the season was rained out, giving her pole position because she had the fastest practice time. She was in the lead for the first six laps, but a mechanical problem caused her to drop out of the race and finish 16th. This was the second year in a row that this happened at New Smyrna. Before the 2019 season, the West Series at Las Vegas Motor Speedway started with Haley in the dirt track race. With another last lap pass, she won her second K&N Pro Series race of her career. Haley said on March 1, 2019 that she would drive for Venturini Motorsports in the six Arca Menard Series races. She drove Venturini's number 55 Toyota Camry for her first race in the series on May 19th at Toledo. Also, Haley was ranked 12th in practice and qualifying. After a crash with Joe Graff Jr., she finished 18th and last and won her third K&N West race at Colorado National Speedway. At the second K&N East race in Bristol, she made her debut for the DGR Crossley team. 
She drove the number 54 Toyota Camry for DGR in this August race. Later that month, Haley had a hard time in the East and West Series race in Gateway, where she ended up in ninth place. In October, Haley had her first top five ARCA finish at Indianapolis Raceway Park. The next weekend, she did well in K&N West at Roseville. She had the fastest time in both practice sessions and finished second in the race. Haley switched from Toyota's development driver program to Ford's at the end of 2019 because she signed a full-time contract with DGR Crosley to race in the ARCA Menard Series. In the first practice for the first race of the season at Daytona International Speedway, Haley had the fastest lap time. In the series, she came in seventh place three times in a row and third at Lucas Oil Raceway. She also tied the record for the best finish by a woman on a short track for the whole series. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, by the middle of September, Haley was upset that ARCA only had a few practice sessions and no live pit stops. With a second-place finish in the series race at the Illinois State Fairgrounds racetrack, she tied for her best ARCA finish ever. DGR Crosley announced on February 7, 2020 that Haley would make her NASCAR Gander RV and Outdoors Truck Series debut in Kansas with the team's number 17 Ford. She finished one lap down, which put her in 16th place, and this was the best finish for a woman in her first Truck Series race in history. Ford Performance said on October 17, 2020 that Haley would drive full-time for DGR Crosley in the 2021 NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Also, she came in seventh at the Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway in August. Even though it was her first Truck Series race, she became the first woman in history of the series to get a finish like that at the track that wasn't a super speedway. And at the end of the season, Haley had 17th place points and a spot in the Gateway Top 10. She was also chosen as the most popular driver in the Truck Series in 2021. Haley switched to Ford in 2020, and she and co-driver Chase Briscoe opened the 2020 season at Daytona. They came in 43rd place out of 51 teams. Also, she joined Sebastian Prulo in the 22 Ford and went back to the series at Laguna Seca. Haley teamed up with Briscoe again in 2022, and they went to Daytona for the Michelin Pilot Challenge. The 48 pairs in the field came in 24th. For the 2023 season, Haley Deegan will drive the number 13 Ford performance truck for Thor Sport Racing, which is switching back to Ford after two years with Toyota. Overall, Haley is becoming a big name in the world of professional car driving. She turned her passion into her job, and she's done an amazing job of it. Haley never worried about racing against men, even though she was a girl. So, what are your thoughts if Haley Deegan wins the title next season? Let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. So, that's going to do it for today's video. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If so, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our videos on NASCAR updates.